You wanna use UDEMS with Octane in Blender? What are you, crazy? Hi, my name is Kays, and welcome to another Right Brain tutorial. More than a full tutorial, let's call this an add-on, okay, to the previous tutorial. So, uh, if you watch my previous tutorial on using UDEMS in Blender, uh, we were using cycles, and everything came in like rather gloriously and a very simple way, which was really, really awesome. However, if you're using Octane in Blender, things are a little bit different, okay? And I wanted to show it to you guys just because some of you guys might be interested in trying. Uh, Blender and, and Octane instead of Cycles, and it's really really cool, especially if you have like a nice graphic card, which I don't, but you know, it'll be okay for what we need to do. Um, and uh, the reason why I wanted to show it to you is because uh, it's it's different, okay, and there's a couple of different things they have to do in uh, Blender for Octane that you don't really need to do in Cycles and maybe if some of the guys from the Otoy team uh, like Lino Grandi or even Jules Urbach are watching this video maybe they can kind of consider um, updating uh, this workflow to be a little bit more consistent with the way Blender does it which is really cool and very intuitive but uh, but in the meantime, this is how you are going to have to use UDEMS in Octane for Blender. All right, so here we are in Blender. Now, this is not just any Blender, mind you. This is the special Blender Octane build. So if you watched the previous tutorial, uh, we have this Cosmonaut right here. And, uh, and I already like divided it into the glass portions of it and then the rest of the Cosmonaut, just like we did in the previous tutorial. So let's uh, get into shading mode, I mean to Octane mode. I'm using the Path Tracer. Uh, I kind of like um, clamped the GI clamp down a little bit. And let's turn on Octane and see what we can see. Uh, and I just remember that there's one more thing that I forgot to do. And we're back. I realized that I wasn't running my Octane license server in the background. So if you're using Octane for Blender, make sure that you also have Octane license server running in the background or else Octane is not going to work. Okay, great. Uh, here is our uh, basic mesh of our Cosmonaut that we know so well by now and um, we don't really have anything applied to it. I just have literally just like a white color. Let's just make it whatever, pink, just so that uh, we can see when we're bringing in our UDEM tiles to see if, we, if they work or not. All right, so the first thing that we wanna do is we want to bring our textures in. And to do that, uh, we're going to create an octane texture, but not an octane image texture. We actually wanna use an image tile texture, okay? So when you're working with UDEMS in octane, this is the node that you want to create, not the regular image texture node. Uh, so I'm just gonna click open, and I'm gonna navigate back to my desktop under textures, and let's start with the base color. I'm just gonna point it to the first one, I'm gonna say open image, and uh, yes, I want Octane to access my desktop. And once again, um, it was smart enough to figure out that this is part of a UDEM set, and we can see right here, if I zoom in, it says UDEM tiles. Okay, so this is, so far, so good. So let's pump this into our albedo color, okay? And let's see what we can see. So I'm just gonna put this in here, and now we have, something happening that definitely doesn't look right, okay? So we actually have something here, but the rest of the mesh is this black color. So this is not what we want to see. We, uh, you know, we want the UDEM tiles to kind of cover our entire Cosmonaut, not just the little, two little thingies, valves here on the front. Octane for Blender does not automatically recognize that this is part of a UDEM set. So we need to tell it that it is. And we're gonna do it with this funky little variable. So we're gonna delete the last three digits. And we're going to say one. Then we're gonna use the percentage, okay? And then we're gonna use I, okay? And if we click okay, nothing happens. And it's like, ah, But this is the way to do it, trust me on this. One percentage I, lowercase i. I don't think uppercase I works. So one percentage I to replace the 1001, 1002, 1003, and so on and so forth. 
but we're not done yet. Because even though now we are telling Octane, okay, this is part of a UDEM set, we are also needing to specify how big our UDEM grid is. And this is where we do that right here, grid size X and grid size Y. So we know that the UDEM standard is 10 tiles across for X. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna change this to 10, okay? And then for Y, it can really be anything, but uh, let's just type 10. So we now have like a 10 by 10 virtual grid that Octane is using. And we're starting to see some changes, but not quite there yet. It's still looking funky, okay? And the reason why is because we also need to tell it to start on one, not on zero. So right now it's starting on zero, it's starting at 1000. And that's not correct. We need to say that it starts at 1001. There's no such tile in the UDEM set as 1000. It starts 1001, 1002, and so on and so forth. And then 1011, 1012, and so forth, 1021, you get it. So let's change this from zero to one. And now we're finally seeing our UDEM the way they're meant to be displayed in Octane. Okay, so I'm gonna skip forward and map everything and then we'll see what the whole thing looks like. All right, so here is our cosmonaut with all the textures mapped, you know, color, roughness, metallic, normals, even the height channel has been mapped. And as I said, hopefully this clarifies a little bit how to use UDEM tile sets within Octane for Blender. All right, that's all I got for this video. I just wanted to post this here because I tried to use UDEMs with Octane for Blender and I was totally confused how to do it. And I finally figured it out thanks to some other, uh, you know, resources and other tutorial videos that I watched online. And I just wanted to convey this to you because as I said, UDEMs is a really, really cool way of working, but every render engine has a slightly different way of handling them. Anyway, I hope this has been useful to some of you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.